Hey, what's up, everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back from the Division 2 weekly vendor reset. Well, guys, there was no maintenance or anything, so let's just get rid of these vendors real quick. So, the first named item we have here is the Safety Distant SMG. Comes with perfect uh, outsider talent. We have swap speed of 12.2% and crit chance of 12.5% with 11.9% of SMG damage. Give this weapon a go if you don't have one already. The stats are not that high, but yeah, you can give it a try. And next, we have MP5 ST SMG with a reformation talent. Again, we have swap speed of 12.1%. 13.5% uh, crit chance and 10.6% of SMG damage. Fall Assault Rifle with near sighted talent. We have 7% of uh, damage to target out of cover, 14% of health damage, and 12% of Assault Rifle damage. Now, I would say you could actually give this a go. It's not a high uh, in terms of attributes, but it's a pretty decent uh, roll and it's a really nice weapon. The Fall Assault Rifle is really good. Uh, next, we have a uh, military M9 pistol with eyeless talent, 12.5% swap speed, 9.7% of pistol damage. Then we have Overlord Ornaments, a backpack with a wicked talent. Uh, we have 15.9 repair skill, 7% of headshot damage, and 9.7% of uh, weapon damage. Then we have Murakami chest piece with Vanguard talent, 5.5% of weapon handling, 8% of headshot damage. The offensive protocol critical mod, which is 10% of crit damage. A drone mod, which is 8.2 health. A, a turret mod, which is 5.9 duration. And last, we have a sticky launcher mod, which is 4.3% of skill haste. Alrighty guys, we're at the clans vendor, so let's take a look. We got the sacrifice chest piece here, it comes with perfect glass cannon. Uh, we have maxed out weapon handling here, pretty nice explosive resistance and 10.4% of weapon damage. Uh, you can use this if you don't own one already, And but if you're new to the game, I wouldn't recommend using it because, you know, you'll take a lot of damage. You'll deal a lot of damage, but you're also going to take a lot of damage, so... Yeah, but yeah, you can still use it if you want to. I mean, if you're okay with it, yeah, you can go and use it. Change the explosive resistance and add maybe headshot damage or crit damage, and you'll be good. And next, we have uh, the True Patriot chest with maxed out armor here, 6.2% of uh, explosive resistance. Eglis Protocol backpack with uh, regen, armor regen, 4029. Then we have Hardwire chest piece with 16.6 .6 repair skill, a Police TA21. Uh, uh, SMG with future perfect talent maxed out uh, damage to target out of cover there and then we have a uh, 14% crit chance and 10.2 SMG damage the custom P4G3 assault rifle with ignited talent we have 8% of damage to target out of cover 18% of health damage and 11% of assault rifle damage pretty decent reroll I would say uh, you can give this weapon a go if you don't have any decent weapon if you're new to the game you can definitely buy this and it will be really 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 handy uh, next, we have military P416 assault rifle with bread basket talent with 8% of crit chance, 16% of health damage, and 11.5 assault rifle damage. A 67716 uh, CQB rifle with vindictive talent. We have maxed out health damage, maxed out crit damage, and very low rifle damage. Then we have uh, black market uh, SHG 12 shotgun with pummel talent. We have 16.5 uh, optimal range, maxed out damage to armor, 12% of shotgun damage. All summit backpack with unstoppable force talent. Uh, 16,523 is the health and 8.9% is the status effect. Then we have Douglas and Harding gloves with 11.3 weapon damage, 8.6 hazard protection and 10.3% of uh, critical hit damage. Then we have an offensive protocol critical mod which is 4.7 crit chance, a defensive protocol resilience mod which is 16,171 armor on kill, a utility system mod which is 8.6 skill duration and last we have a uh, pulse mod which is 9.1 effect duration. All right, you guys, we had the theater settlement, so let's take a look. We got the firm handshake with maxed out weapon damage this time. Of course, the uh, status effect of 15%. And then we have crit damage, which is 7.8. I mean, I will leave you, this one up to you guys what you want to do with this. All right, next we have ACS 12 shotgun with uh, pumped up talent, 7% uh, of crit damage, 9% uh, of damage to armor, 11.7 shotgun damage. The Arbor MDR rifle. Uh, with killer talent, 8% crit chance, 8% crit damage, and 14.8 is the rifle damage. The 511 tactical uh, gloves with 144,000, 967 armor, 16.4 repair skill, 10.2 crit damage. A so glove knee pads with 10.4 weapon damage, 7.4 headshot damage, 3,824 is the armor region. A defensive protocol resilience mod, which is 8.5 shock resistance. Seeker mine mod, which is plus one cluster mines. A shield mod, which is 4.3 active regeneration. Firefly mod, which is 5.9 percent of blind effect duration and last we have a decoy mod which is six percent of duration Alrighty, guys we're here at the campus element so let's take a look we got a punch drunk mask with 
10.7 weapon damage. We have uh, headshot damage 20%, which is uh, the named uh, named attribute, and 6.5% of weapon handling. Then we have G28 uh, maximum rifle with 10.4% maximum rifle damage, 90% of headshot damage, 9.9 reload speed, and steady handed talent. Black market RPK LMG with spike talent, 6.5% health damage, 8% damage to target out of cover, and 10.2 LMG damage. A Providence mask with 10.2 weapon damage, 9.9 .9 crit damage, and 7.1 explosive resistance. A budget of holster with 124,967 armor, 15,844 health, and 16.4 repair skill. A utility protocol mod, which is 8.2 skill duration. A chem launcher mod, which is 7.6% in snare duration. Hive mod, which is 8.4 steam efficiency. Pulse mod, which is 8.5 radius. And stra a trap mod, which is 5.9% of duration. Alrighty guys, we're a DZ East vendor, so let's take a look. We got a new reliable LMG, comes with perfectly optimized talent, 11.7 swap speed, 8% of damage target out of cover, and 10% of LMG damage. And then we have classic M44 carbine maximum rifle with range talent, 6.5 health damage, 87% uh, headshot damage, and 11% of maximum rifle damage. The military L86 LMG with Sadis talent, 8% uh, health damage. 8% of damage to target out of cover and 10.2% of LMG damage. A rigor mask uh, with 9.9 .9 skill haste. Negotiate dilemma holster with 10.6 weapon damage, 8.4 status effect. A Fenris mask with 10.7% weapon damage, 10.1 crit damage, and 9.1 hazard protection. A Walker Harris holster with 11.3 weapon damage, 6% weapon handling, 7.6 headshot damage. A utility system mod, which is 10.1 skill haste. A chem launcher mod, which is 4.2 duration. Hive mod, which is 7.9 health. Pulse mod, which is 6.3 cone size. Trap mod, which is 4.1% of duration. Alrighty, guys, we're here at the DZ South vendor. So let's take a look. We got the apartment. Oh, whoa. This is the second time. This is the second time. This is the second time this is available. Uh, the first time it was like a few weeks ago. Or I should say like a month and a half ago. Something like that. I did. I, I get a crazy reaction on that. Uh, when i saw the first time but yeah it's here it's here if you don't have the apartment get it if you haven't got it from named item caches or dark zone or whatever the case get it from here very 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 good smg can't say enough of it i mean all you have to do is change the uh, swap speed to damage to target out of cover and you're good just optimize the smg damage and crit chance uh, super super good smg this is the highlight of this week Lee vendor i don't care if the vendor is bad but apartment is here so that's solid matters it's just an amazing weapon get it get it okay just get it all right next we have a vector sbr 9 millimeter smg preservation talent uh 12.6 swap speed 13 percent of crit chance and 10 point uh, sorry 9.6 percent of smg damage uh then we have mk16 uh, assault rifle with a bread basket talent 11.7 swap speed 17 percent of health damage 11 percent of assault rifle damage then we have police uh, 686 uh, magnum pistol with um uh, finisher talent 9 percent of headshot damage and 10.8 percent pistol damage a tip of the spear backpack with uh 12.1 weapon damage 4 percent of crit chance hard way out uh, chest speed with 16.6 .6 repair skill a providence backpack with galvanized talent uh, 11.3 weapon damage 6 percent of weapon handling uh 7.5 of explosive resistance a pair of chest piece with brace talent we have uh 16.6 .6 repair skill 6.5 headshot damage 9.6 is the weapon damage uh, offensive system mod which is 7.3 headshot damage a drone mod which is 6.3 deflect duration a uh, turret mod which is plus one extra motor bomb ammo or motor ammo yeah uh, last we have a sticky launcher mod which is 6.4 percent of damage so that's it for dz south Alrighty, guys we're the dz west vendor so let's take a look we got a virginian rifle all right nice nice so we have uh, of course the perfect boomerang talent we have a reload speed which again you can change it to damage to target out of cover and we have 10 percent of rifle damage and 12 percent of crit damage very 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 underrated rifle i would say um goes with pretty much uh, any build mostly headshot builds or whatever if you can aim like this is gonna kill with one shot most of the time it's a very very good rifle give it a go it's a dark zone exclusive again so yeah uh so get it and we have the double barrel shotgun with the uh, optimist talent uh 18.5 optimal range eight percent of damage to armor 10.1 shotgun damage a socom m1a rifle with braid basket talent 13.1 uh, nine percent of swap speed 11 percent of crit damage and 9.3 rifle damage a negotiated gloves with 11.9 weapon damage 9.5 crit damage a foundry knee pads with 124,967 armor 8.5 percent of hazard protection a billstone gloves with 11.8 uh, crit damage 16.6 repairs 
steel, very low armor there, 90,551. Then we have Providence uh, knee pads with uh, 13.7 weapon damage, 8.7 crit damage, and 16.1 repair skill. A defensive protocol resilience mod, which is 11% of protection from elites. Secret mind mod, which is 6.3 health. Uh, shield mod, which is 4.2 deflect the damage. Firefly mod, which is 8% of speed. And last, we have a decoy mod, which is 6% of duration. So that's it for all the DZ vendors. Let's go to New York. Alrighty guys, we're here at New York, a heavy settlement, so let's take a look what Raven has got for us. So we have Police UMP45 SMG with uh, Optimist Talon, 6% of health damage, 18% crit chance, and 9.1 SMG damage. The Tactical uh, M249 Para LMG with Fast Stance Talon, 8.8 .8 accuracy, 9% of damage to target out of cover, 11% of LMG damage. Uh, the uh, UIC15 Rifle with Reformation Talon, 3.8% of rate of fire, 12% of crit damage, and 10.8% of rifle damage. The Magnum Pistol with Killer Talon, 9% of headship damage. 10.4 pistol damage, a Gilligard backpack with unstoppable force talent, 10.1% of crit damage, 8.8% skill damage, 95,952 is the armor, uh, Orioldi holdings gloves with 11.1 weapon damage, 9.7 uh, skill haste, 15.8 repair skill, Emperor's International holster with 8.1 status effect, 7.1 skill damage, offensive system mod which is 10.3 crit damage, a utility protocol mod which is 16.6 .6 repair skill, a drone mod which is 4.8 damage reduction, chem launcher mod which is 7.3 in scenario uh, in scenario duration i was going to say regeneration uh, uh, then we have the uh, decoy mod which is six percent of duration so that's a royal mini case Alrighty guys, we're at the final vendor, so let's take a look. We got a PDR soul rifle with future perfect talent, 8% of crit damage, 10.5% uh, of uh, health damage, 12.2 assault rifle damage, the military MK46 LMG with future perfect talent, 11.9 swap speed, 8% damage to target out of cover, and 10.2 LMG damage. Then we have Super 90 shotgun with uh, bread basket talent, 8.5 reload speed, 8% damage to uh, armor, 11.6% of shotgun damage. The officer's M9A1 pistol with killer talent, 7.6% of stability. 11.3 pistol damage. A Fenris chess piece with kinetic momentum talents, 8.6% has a protection, 9.6% of crit damage, and 9.6% of weapon damage. Then we have Petrov knee pads with 10.3 uh, weapon damage, 9.9 .9 crit damage, and 5.5% weapon handling. A Bellstone holster with armor regen, 4805, 5.5 weapon handling, very low armor there. Then we have defensive system ending mod, which is 8.3% burn resistance. Offensive protocol critical mod, which is 7% of headshot damage. A shield mod, which is 4.2 shield health. A drone mod, uh, sorry, not drone, a uh, hive mod, which is 4.2 duration. And finally, we have a decoy mod, which is 6% of duration. Whew, so that's the that's the weekly vendor guys i mean not that crazy stuff uh you know uh, items are on sale but i would say the the apartment was really really uh good uh, so uh just get that if you don't have a, uh, have the apartment just get that it's it's a must-have weapon i would say it's a super super awesome smg it's a dark Zone exclusive so get that apartment and also the virginian rifle get that and that's basically it for the video hope you guys will find what you're looking for and i will see you guys in the next one till then peace